Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video. GTA 6 is shaping up to be a massive release, but with that potential comes the possibility of Rockstar dropping the ball if they don't approach it right, whereas the game definitely doesn't need to avoid being a letdown. First up, we really don't need a flood of drive there, shoot them, missions. Sure, driving is a big part of GTA, and it's fun to explore the world, but when every mission just turns into driving, from point A to point B, shooting some NPCs and then driving back, it gets old fast. ADA 5 had a lot of this, especially early on, and while it's cool at first, it quickly becomes a chore. We need missions that switch things up, something more dynamic that keeps the gameplay fresh and exciting. Another thing GTA 6 needs more of. Interior shootouts? Remember the adrenaline rush of storming a building in GTA for some of the tight, intense interior battles in GTA 5. That close quarters combat, navigating hallways, and strategizing in tight spaces, it's what made those missions feel so immersive. Rockstar has already shown they can pull this off with incredible set pieces in games like Red Dead Redemption 2, so why not bring that same level of variety and intensity to GTA 6? Imagine more bank heists, mall shootouts, or high-speed chases that end inside a collapsing warehouse where you have to fight your way out. It would add so much depth and excitement to the mission. If you're hyped about seeing more of that kind of action, make sure to smash that like button and share your thoughts in the comments. Now something that's definitely on my list, GTA 6 does not need to be around for 11 years like GTA 5. Look, I get it. The 5 has been a monumental success, but an 11 year run? That's a long time for any game. Yes, the content updates in GTA Online kept things fresh, but at some point it's time to move on. The thing that really got to me was how Rockstar completely abandoned single player DLCs for GTA 5. We were promised more story content with characters like Franklin, Michael, and Trevor, but that never happened. Instead, Rockstar funneled all their efforts into GTA Online, leaving us single-player fans out in the cold. If Rockstar wants to keep GTA 6 alive for years, that's fine. But they better not forget about the single-player experience this time. If you're on board with that, hit that subscribe button for more GTA 6 insights. And let's talk about the 11-year gap between GTA releases. Rockstar needs to get more realistic about their release cycles. Yes, we know game development is complex, especially for something as massive as GTA, but waiting over a decade for a new game is a bit much. In 11 years, entire game franchises have come and gone, new genres have emerged, and technology has evolved like crazy. Rockstar needs to aim for something more reasonable, like a five or six year release window. The gaming world moves fast, and if Rockstar holds on to the past for too long, they might risk falling behind. So yeah, let's hope they don't make us wait another decade after GTA 6. If you're with me on this, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Now, here's a big one. Rockstar better not try to tone down Day A6 to appeal to a broader, more sensitive audience. Look, I understand that it's 2024 and times have changed, but this is Grand Theft Auto we're talking about. The franchise is built on being gritty, vulgar, and unapologetically funny. If Rockstar tries to water it down to avoid controversy, it's going to lose the edge that makes it special. We've seen other franchises, like Saints Row, try to modernize and appeal to everyone, and it backfired big time. Fans love the original Saints Row games because they were crass and outrageous, but the reboot felt bland and safe, and it completely missed the mark. We do not need GTA 6 to follow that same path. What do you think? Should Rockstar stick to its edgy roots, or is it time for a change? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more takes like this. Another thing we don't need in GTA 6, turning it into a full-blown life simulator. Talked about this before, but let me break it down again. Realism is great when done right, but if Rockstar goes too far with it, the game could end up feeling more like a chore than a fun, chaotic sandbox. San Andreas had the perfect balance of RPG elements. You could hit the gym, 
grab some food, and even learn new moves, but it wasn't something you had to constantly manage. Compare that to GTA 5, where a lot of those elements were stripped away, and it felt like Rockstar went too far in the other direction. What we don't need is for GTA 6 to go overboard with realism, making us manage hunger, stamina, or even rent payments. We play GTA to escape reality, not to simulate every boring part of it. If you're with me on keeping the chaos, hit that like button. Now about the traffic system in GTA 5. It was just too tame. Driving through Los Santos often felt a little too safe, like everyone was following the rules of the road. I get it. Rockstar was going for realism, but it didn't capture the chaos you'd expect in a bustling city. In GTA 6, we need more variety and personality in the traffic. Cars should be speeding, weaving through traffic, and occasionally causing accidents. And how cool would it be to see NPCs having car meets or random races on the side of the road? The streets should feel alive and unpredictable. Also, Rockstar needs to step up their game when it comes to the variety of cars on the road. GTA 5 gave us so many amazing vehicles through the online DLCs, but we never saw them in the regular traffic that needs to change in GTA 6. If you're excited about more diverse and dynamic streets, don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 updates. Speaking of cars, let's talk about sound design. One thing that really disappointed me in GTA 5 was how muted and dull the car engine sounds were, especially for high-end cars. When you're driving a $2 million hypercar, you want to feel that power, and hearing a weak, muffled engine just doesn't cut it. Rockstar needs to step up their sound design game in GTA 6. Look at games like Forza Horizon 5 where the engine sounds are visceral and make driving feel so much more exciting. Imagine tearing down the streets in GTA 6. With that level of sound design, it would be incredible! If you're hyped about this, make sure to like the video and leave a comment about what cars you want to hear roaring through the streets of Vice City. And now, let's talk microtransactions. Online has been a gold mine for Rockstar with shark cards, and more recently, their GTA subscription service. But here is the thing, if GTA 6 follows the same path, it could seriously ruin the experience. Rumors are floating around that GTA 6 might cost $100 for the base game, and if that's the case, why should we be expected to pay even more for content through microtransactions? It's one thing to charge for cosmetic items, but Locking actual content behind a paywall is just crossing the line. Rockstar needs to be careful with how they handle this, or they risk alienating a lot of fans. What are your thoughts on microtransactions in GTA 6? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Finally, let's all agree on one thing. No more flying bikes with missiles in GTA 6. We've had enough of that overpowered nonsense in GTA Online, and I think we can all agree it's time for a change. Rara needs to focus on making the game balanced and fun, without relying on ridiculous vehicles that ruin the experience for everyone else. But that's just one item on the list. What else do you think GTA 6 doesn't need? I've shared my thoughts, but I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 content coming your way.